How many times do I have to tell you? Trish, why would I deliberately bring you decaf? I have to work with you all day. I don't need to hear you over there yawning every two seconds, bringing everybody down. Hey, come and sit down. That doesn't make any sense, Trish. I would be the one that would suffer the most. Well, me and your, your, your clients. And then they're going to leave here unhappy like some people. I'm just saying, what is this? What? What is this? I look like Princess Leia stuck her finger in a light socket. I just think that's bad revenge. I think that's that's nasty. That's bad. Just hush, can you just hush up? Just go there and, and clean something. Ain't it time to wipe down stuff? Get ooh, get some of that good cleaner that smells like pineapple. Can we use that? I know it's more expensive. She has. Trish got this. Where did you get it? She got this uh, this disinfectant stuff. Some lady here in town makes it. it. Smells just like pineapples. It doesn't stink. You know, a lot of disinfectant wipes and things just stink. You know, ugh, it smells like a hospital. This stuff smells like pineapples. I love it. Well, I'll help Chip in. I can put some money in on it. I mean, how much is it? Forty dollars. Oh, it doesn't smell that good. I didn't know it was that expensive. Let me think about it. Now, you know, I saw I saw your name. I saw I have not seen you in here in forever. I know, I know, we were closed. This whole COVID thing's just got everybody turned upside down. And do you know, can I tell you something? Trish is a little bit on edge right now. I am too, to be honest with you. Did you know? that they're expecting us to pay rent for all the months this place was closed. I know, we're talking about months of rent that we weren't even open. And my thing was, how were we expected to pay that? We weren't even getting any money. We had no income. I do not have a side job. Trish, if I had a side job, you'd know about it. Oh, that doesn't count. That's not a side job. I'm just taking... Maybe I am taking business away from them. Maybe they need somebody to take business away from them. I'm not hurting anybody. Go wipe something down. Go go shop for masks on Amazon or something. So, yeah. Okay, so financially, we're kind of in the hole. I mean, you know, we were just allowed to open back up like a month ago. And I'm glad I finally got you back on the schedule again. Let me, let me see those nails. Let me look. Oh, have mercy me. That's... Oh, dear, honey. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to do something about that. Oh, no, look. I, I was ready for you to come in. Look. I'm joking. I didn't get all these for you. No, I just got these in the mail. Isn't that something? Look at that. Now, these are not your regular old Q-tips. These are pointy little pointy q-tips look they have a little pointy edge on them they're great for you know fixing up spots when you do somebody's manicure i know i've used them on you see i used to get them at walmart they don't carry them at walmart anymore they sure don't what oh no god no i didn't do this to my hair i came in here this morning my, my hair looked normal and so Trish had me stop by Starbucks to get her a pumpkin spice latte on the way into work this morning. And she took one sip of it and she goes, this is decaf. I said, it is not. She even called, she even called them and said, did this, did this woman come in there? She was wearing bright pink. Did she get a drink? Was it decaf or not? And they even told her it wasn't. And she said, well, somebody messed up because it was this is decaf i need my caffeine i can't live like this this is these are rugged like primitive camping conditions so trish your delivery's here that extra order of attitude has come in early you might want to check that she doesn't believe me she flat out called me a liar a liar. We've worked together for years, and I've never had anybody call me a liar before, and I don't know how to feel about it. So, 
I said, thank you for going to pick up the drink. Because she didn't have any cash. She said she was a little short on cash today. She said, come sit down over here before my first person comes in this morning. I'm going to fix your hair. I'm going to make your hair look really good. And she had me turned away from the mirror where I couldn't see what she was doing. And Lord, she spun me around. She had this sour face. She spun me around. And I have these puff balls on my head. Which all they do is accent the fact that I need my roots done which somebody never has time to do. So, it ain't pleasant around here right now. It's kind of toxic. I don't want to spread that to you. I want you to enjoy the experience. I just wanted to let you know the dynamics of this room right now. Because you probably felt the tension when you walked in here. You could cut it with a knife or a pointy Q-tip. You could just cut right through. Yeah. What? I'm not going to get you another drink. No, I am not. Because the one you have right there is not decaf. It's all in your mind, Trish. You've convinced yourself that it's decaf. And you have convinced yourself that you're tired because of a lack of caffeine. Whereas, if you just stopped staying up late watching TV, maybe you wouldn't be so tired in the mornings. You were posted on Facebook at 1 o'clock this morning. No, I wasn't up. I saw it when I got up bright and early at 6 because I went to bed in a normal time like a normal person. I, I don't... I, I'm, Trish, I, I believe under the circumstances maybe we ought to just stop communicating with one another. Okay? It's going to take my whole lunch hour to pick this mess out of my hair because you sprayed it down with like double lacquer hairspray. I got probably 50 bobby pins in my head right now. I have never. Have you ever heard of anybody doing hair as a revenge? You don't take off your hairdresser because they got a lot of power over you whether you realize it or not. So we got, we got our pointy q-tips here. Oh I love these so much. You know, I just want to poke them with my finger. I just, but I mean, it's unsanitary. I can't do that. I just want to hit those little pokey edges, but I can't do it. Did you pick out, did you pick out a polish? Let me see. Oh, dear. No, it's a nice color. I'm not saying anything against the color. Have you ever used this before? This right here. Okay, this is from Watercolors. This is made by Color Club, as you can see. Now, it's a beautiful color. I love how they color coordinate the, the handle to this stuff. It's a beautiful color. Only problem is, it's almost impossible to get off once you get it on there. I mean, it's on there, and it's great and all, but it, you about need a sandblaster to get it off. I mean, it just won't come off. You can soak it like you use your, your soak here. You can soak it for five whole minutes and that stuff won't come off. You have to just scrub it off your fingers. So, I'm not saying that we can't do it. We totally can. I mean, if you want to. I'm just saying, this might not be my first choice. Now, I do have some other ones here that are fun colors that I thought you would like. I am going to show you that. I do have that. Yeah, that's one of the ones I was going to show you. This is a new one that I just discovered, and uh, I kind of like it. I think it would look really good on you, too. It's, it's actually not too far from this. The good thing is it's really easy to remove. Now, are you are you just set on this, or are you willing to look at some other, other options? Okay. Decaf is not an option, Trish, because I didn't get you decaf. Why don't you just mind your own business over there, quit listening to what I say? Don't be so nosy. How about that? Okay. You want me to do your nails? I'll do them real good. I'll do them real good. Okay. We'll, we'll get into a beauty war if you want to. There'll be product flying everywhere. I can't, I can't deal with her. Would it make you feel better if I went to get you lunch? I promise I won't lace it with too much cyanide. I get your regular Pepsi instead of diet, and then you can complain about that. Although why anybody would drink diet Pepsi is beyond me because it's gross. Yes, please do. Please go. Please go to the restroom. You got something in your teeth anyway. I wasn't going to say nothing, but that blueberry bagel stuck with her. Okay. 
first thing we need to do is clean your nails. Come here, nail. I want you to... I want you to do something for me, okay? We're going to use this right now. I have been using this recently. I have been so happy with it. This is from Beauty360, which is uh, from CVS. This is an advanced nail polish remover. Now, you're going to love it. You know, a lot of these... They have a just foam rubber in here. This has little plastic uh, bristles. They're not hard though. They're very soft and you just put your finger in there and just wiggle it around and the nail polish just comes right off. So I want you to go ahead. Here I'm going to hold it right there. And if we just hold that with one hand, just do one finger at a time. And then what I want you to do, there's a little, you see that little, little thing there? It's like a, a miniature toilet bowl. It's got water in it. I would like you to dip your finger in there, and there's a little bit of soap in that dispenser. Take the soap, and then just, I want you to just lightly rinse every finger after you do it, just to get the stuff off of there. Let me hold it for you. And you just start, it doesn't matter, either hand, you just do that right there. And, uh, and just do that. I'll tell you what, I can't take much more of this. Now, I know, I know financially she's struggling right now, but what she seems to forget is so am I. I mean, you know, honestly, I had to ask Brittany for money the other day. I, I needed gas money, and you know, she still works at Food Line. I said, Brittany, do you have $5 you can spare? And she, I had to take money from my own daughter. I don't even know how to feel about it. But I do kind of have a little bit of a side gig. See, with Halloween coming up, a lot of people like my sewing technique. You know, I'm really good at sewing and doing stuff. And uh, I've been working on some custom costumes for people. Oh, my gosh. It, well, if you need any work now, let me know. Because I'm kind of, I'm getting kind of backed up. I'm, I'm trying to work on it at night and on the weekends and on Mondays. Because, you know, we're closed Mondays. Um. I, what, what were you thinking about doing? Oh, it's for your daughter. Okay, what do you want to do? A, like a frozen costume? Like a... Okay. Well, we could... Um, now, do you just want embellishments on a costume? Or are you looking for just the whole shebang? Because if I'm doing the whole shebang, now that can that can get kind of pricey because you're talking about you got to get satin, you got to get... You know, the crinoline, you got to do the built-in crinoline to make it stand out. You're talking a lot about, about a lot of uh, intricate stuff to, ma to make the whole thing. Now, if you want to go out somewhere like Target and get the costume and then just have me uh, add some embellishments to it, now that'd be a lot cheaper. Now, you're going to go, if you go to uh, Target, just get like a basic $20 costume for an extra $20, I can make it look like about a $100 costume because I have a lot of materials at home. I could have it looking good. So I could just take that and if it needs to be altered, if it's a little bit too big, a little bit too small, I can do some alterations. We could take measurements and then alter it and do that. So, but don't tell Trish. She gets mad. I don't even know why she cares. She calls it moonlighting. She said it's it's against the law. Now, I don't know about that. I don't see how that's against the law because it doesn't affect my work here. Oh, sorry. Here, let me, I'll get it. No, it doesn't affect my work here at all. I just do it in my own time. I think she's jealous, quite frankly. She can't stand the thought of me doing well without her. Hey. She'll be right back. She went to the bathroom. I don't think she wanted me to say that. She's indisposed at the moment. Just have, just have a seat. Oh, no, that other chair. Yeah, that one's closed because, you know, the Rona, the cough, cough. You can't, we got to keep everybody spaced apart. Well, I know we're not spaced apart. We can't be. She's not go-go gadget arms. I got to have her right here. Yeah, okay, just, just sit there. She'll be right back. Oh, oh yeah, go in the back. We've got... There's a little refrigerator back there if you want. We've got Diet Coke back there. I think there might be some ginger ale, uh, water. Yeah, no, help yourself. Go on back there and pick, pick out some. Have you seen her lately? Did you see that? Okay, let me tell you the deal. Now, she was in here back in, I want to say, 
say she was in here back in December and she was talking about her deviated septum. Now she's never mentioned a deviated septum before. All of a sudden she has this big problem with a deviated septum. I don't think that's something that develops when you're 40. Never heard her mention it before. She's been coming here for years. Did you see her face? Look at her when she comes back. Oh, yeah, that, that Schweppes is good ginger ale. Yes, it is. Look at her nose. Yeah. Well, you're looking different. I gotta say, there's something just different about you. Is it your, is it your hair? Have you done something different with your hair? No. There's just something different in this region right here. She totally got a nose job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I, no, you, honey, you look great. <laughs> you look great. She looks like an alien. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, here she comes now. Look. She, yeah. We were just chatting. Not about you. Don't be so paranoid, Trish. Okay. <clears throat> so let me just look at that here. Just come a little closer. Did you see how pointy her nose is? <laughs> it's so drastically different from what it looked like before. I swear it's like that much longer, and it's pointy. She looks like Pinocchio, caught in the middle of a lie. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I'm not trying to judge. I just think it's funny. And I just don't understand, like, when people, people, they go out there and they get this, this <laughs> plastic surgery, and then they act like they haven't done anything, like you can't tell. I mean, hello, just own it, just to go, yeah, I totally got a, a nose job. Whew, golly, boy, she did, didn't she? Went, she went whole hog on that nose job. She just jumped right in there with both feet. I've never seen anything like she could thread a needle with that nose. Dang, all right. I just hope she stops here. You, you remember Miss Wallace used to come in here? I think she was in here a few times you were in here. Lord, she is unrecognizable now. Her face looks like a relief map of the Rockies. She's always having things done to her face. You know, I've heard that once you start getting plastic surgery, it's like you can't stop. And people just, they get this distorted view of what their face looks like. So they keep changing it and changing it. And then, you know, the plastic surgeon's not going to stop you. I mean, you're paying for their second home or something. They're not going to tell you to stop. Well, Miss Wallace... Now, I had not seen Miss Wallace again since, like, late last year. And she didn't come in here for the longest time. And, uh, she came low. She came in here. She's had cheek implants. She's had, I mean, she got a nose job at the end of the year last year. But it looked like she got another one, and it was, like, a totally different shape. And then this part was crooked. I don't know what happened, but right up here, you could see it was crooked as all get out. And so she had the cheek implants, she had lip injections, so her, she looked like she got stung by bees, her lips were sticking out, she had the fake eyelashes that were like going up to her hairline practically, she had work done on her hairline, did you even know that's a thing you could do? I about died, I said, my God, I better quit talking about it, she's looking over here, she might think I'm talking about her, I might be giving her ideas, I don't want her to think she needs to do anything else. I mean, she looks fine. There was no need for that nose job. And there was no need to try to cover it up with the story of a deviated septum. Seems to me she would have mentioned that before now. Or before she, you know, chopped her face up. Why can't people just be happy with what they got? I mean, I know I dye my hair, but, you know, why can't we just be settled and happy with what we got? We gotta go change and everything. I don't know. Did you rinse that hand? Here, let me feel. All right, can you do can you do that one again? A little bit, just right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, now there's a towel. You just dry it on that towel. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me show you the colors I've got so we can get going now. This one here is is really cool. I know it looks like what I'm using. It's actually not. Now, I have three of these. This is from Maybelline. It is a fast gel, a fast gel nail lacquer. Now, this color is called Vivid Violet, although I would not really call this violet. I don't know what I would call it. 
Yes, it is very similar, but it's not what I'm using. This right here that I have on is Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. You do not have to do, you don't need a light with this. Um, you don't have to really do anything under it. It is a One Step Wonder Gel. And this is what it looks like. This, believe it or not, this is only one coat. I didn't even have to do two. That's just one coat. And um, it looks really sheer when you look at it, but the coverage is unbelievable. Yeah, that is just, that is a single coat. I did not have to go over that two times to get it like that. Now, I did do a top coat over it, which we can totally do if you are interested. Or if you would rather go with the Maybelline, we can do the Fast Gel for Maybelline. Either way, the only difference is this does not dry quite as fast as this. That's um, that's one difference. Or if you want to go with a darker color, we have this Maybelline Fast Gel here. And I do want to say that I get a little bit of a kickback on the Maybelline products. We had a salesperson come around the other day. And for every one of these that I sell, I get a dollar back from Maybelline. So that's for me. Just, I mean, I'm, there's no pressure. If you don't want to go with the Maybelline, you certainly don't have to. Don't even worry about the fact that I'm struggling or anything. That's not important. Now this one is called uh, Royal, like Royal Blue. It's, it's a very nice dark color. It's a nice coverage. Or you can go with this one. Now this one to me looks more like summertime. So if you want to be reminded of the summer that we missed and the vacation you didn't get to take. I heard about that. I'm so sorry. I know you were looking forward to that. How long do you think it'll be before you get to go? Boy, a cruise to Australia. My goodness. Come, going out of where? Wow. Boy, I bet that's a long one. Two weeks. Oh my goodness. Oh, I would just die. I would just pass away. Jimmy would never do that in a million years. I can't get him to get on a boat. Not since that one cruise we took. He about went overboard. Ever since then, he won't get on a boat, which is fine because he's quit ta He's quit talking about buying a bass boat. So it's kind of like every cloud has a silver line in, so to speak. It's been real good. Oh, he's doing fine. He, he's allowed back in Walmart again. Yeah, he promised not to do anything else in the propane aisle. So I think we're good. In fact, he applied for a job there. Well, he was working at the hardware store, and then he got in a fight over where the Ford or Chevy's better out in the parking lot, and they fired him. They said it wasn't a good look for them. Um, and he said, would it have mattered whether I was a Ford or a Chevy man? They said, no. Said he missed the point, which I kind of agree on that. He did kind of miss the point. The point was you're being very unprofessional, and you need to just go home. So they sent him home. So he's applied for a job at Walmart. He was going to apply for a job at the movie theaters, but they haven't opened yet. So he's not going to the movie theaters. Of course, nobody's going to the movie theaters. Nobody's going anywhere. What? You don't need to make a big production of pouring that drink out, Trish. I am not impressed, and I do not feel bad because I didn't do anything wrong. Look at her over there. Dump, dumping it with a flourish like she's a bartender. Ooh. Don't splash it all over the counter. You got to wipe them down again. <laughs> I can't handle this pressure. I can't take this. I, I'm sorry. I am not providing good service today. And I, I do apologize. I promise when you come back, we're going to have all this straightened out. And it's going to get better. So, no pressure. But would you would you be willing to consider any of the Maybelline products that I have shown you today? We have these three irresistible colors. Or we can have the One Step Wonder Gel, which I happen to be wearing right now, from Wet n Wild. Fresh from Dollar Tree. <laughs> you, you don't want that one? The Royal? Okay. All right. Well, let's move this stuff out of the way and we'll just get on it then. So how have you been during all this, uh, all this coof? You been all right? Yes, I'm doing fine. Um, uh, don't even get me started on online school. Lord, girl, 
You don't have any kids at home, do you? God, thank your lucky stars. Let me tell you something. All right, put your hand up here. Uh-oh. Let me see those cuticles. I'm going to take, we're going to have to work on the cuticles for a minute, so I need you to hold still. You've not been keeping up with your cuticles. You can't lie to me, I can tell. It's like telling your dentist that you've been flossing. They do darn well. You have not been doing that. Oh, let me use this one. Let me get in here with this. I need the wooden implement. There we go. No, it's okay. Most people don't keep up with their cuticles. Let me tell you the best thing you can do. Whenever you get out of the shower, just because when you get out of the shower, your skin is nice and soft, just go ahead and take your thumb right here and gently just kind of push them. Just kind of get right here on the edge and just push just a little bit. You don't have to do it hard. Just kind of gently push them back when you get out of the shower. Or if you're lucky enough to have time for a bubble bath or something like that. I wouldn't even know what that was like. You just push them back. Just try to do that every time you get out of the shower. And, uh, and they'll look better. Okay. And then make sure you moisturize. Make sure you keep plenty of moisturizer on your hands. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be an expensive moisturizer. Just um, something, to, you know, just to keep it from drying out. Um, it's. I think it's important to do. And it will keep your hands looking better. And then we get that one. It will, Brittany's doing fine with the uh, online school. Amberlynn. Amberlynn's going to make me pull my hair out. Every time I come in there, she's on that little that little pad that she works on, the little iPad or maxi pad or U pad or whatever it's called. She's on that little little maxi pad and and she um she's on there playing games. I catch her every time. I say, Amberlynn, I swear to you, get off of there and do your work. Now multiply that by five hundred, then that's my typical day. Sometimes I bring her in here and I make her work in here so I can see what she's doing. Instead of sitting at home with her daddy because he never looks at it. He just assumes as long as she's on it, she's doing her schoolwork. I said, Jimmy, you can't assume that. These kids are smart. They know how to get to all kinds of stuff on there. He checked it one day. She was on Netflix watching a movie. And I said, Jimmy, do you own it? And she tried to tell him it was schoolwork. I said, Jimmy, really? What teacher is going to assign a movie to them? That's stupid. I said, what movie was it? It was Frozen or some version of Frozen. I don't know. It was a cartoon. I said, she's lying to you. But she's daddy's little girl and he can't believe she would ever do that. It's a constant struggle with these people at my house. I swore him. Brittany's doing fine. You know, she's getting ready to graduate. This She's going to graduate this year. I know. I can't believe it either. It's nuts. Alright. Now, just rest your hand right here on the little pad. Hey, just don't move. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> I'm out of practice. <laughs> so, yeah, the online school was a nightmare. But, uh, I guess for now, we're just going to have to deal with it. They're talking about they're going to be going back to school in, in phases. Amberlynn's supposed to go back, um in a week or so. But Brittany, they're saying they won't be going back till January. Which I don't quite understand. Seems to me that the... Here, turn it this way. Seems to me that the older kids would be more likely to follow the rules, but... I don't know. Got a friend of mine just moved here from Washington State. She's one of my newest clients. She came from... I'm gonna say it wrong. Cause every time I look at it, I think of something else. Pu Puyallup? Pu Puyallup? That's not what it looks like at all, but she said it was pronounced something like that. She's got a kindergartner, and her, her kindergartner is struggling with reading. And she said, how, pray tell, is my child supposed to learn to read online? You have to be able to read to do the work they're supposed to do. So she's having a hard time. Her child's having a hard time. She said they've shed more than a few tears out of frustration this year. Bless her heart. Pew, pew, all up. How do you say it? Yeah. I think that's what she said. Something like that. But every time I see that word, you know what I think about? When I was a kid, 
every time it would rain, you see where I grew up over there, no, I grew up in Camden, we had tons of this red mud, you know, that sticky red clay, that red mud was everywhere, and uh, my brother and I used to like to go out and walk in it after the rain, and our shoes, it was so sticky, your foot would go down in it, and your shoe would pop off, but sometimes you'd sink down in it so far, you about couldn't get out, it was like redneck quicksand, and, uh, and my daddy would get mad. He'd come out there and say, Lynette, Bobby, I'm going to have to pull y'all up. So every time I think about the name of that city in Washington State, I think about him saying he's got to pull, God, i got to pull y'all up. He might have to get the tractor one time. See, Bobby's always been kind of a big fella, and, and, and Daddy couldn't get him because Daddy got stuck in the mud trying to get him out, and he said, I'm going to have to go get the tractor, and he did. He went and got the ha a tractor and put a chain on the back and then backed it down there and had Bobby grabbed a chain, pulled him out with the tractor. Bobby said, please don't tell anybody about that. Don't tell anybody about that. What? I am working, Trish. I'm letting her nails dry. Here, stick them under the thing. I'm sorry. Here. No, do like that for a second. Okay, now I'll stick them in there. <laughs> Sorry. I'm busy over here. Don't you worry about how I do my nails. I won't, I won't uh, criticize your hair doing skills if you don't criticize my nail doing skills. Yeah, you think we'd have all this worked out by now? We've been working together for years. Well, it's kind of funny for somebody that's not talking to me anymore. You ain't shut up in the last 10 minutes. Anyway. So, yeah. Are you serious about wanting somebody to do a costume? I could totally do that. Let, let me show you some of the stuff I work with. What? Nothing? This could be for a nail technique. You don't know, Trish. Mind your own business. Okay. Now these are spoken for. I can't I can't give you these. These are for Symphony. Let me tell you what she's doing. Don't tell anybody, okay? She's gonna be Cinderella. Oh, for Halloween this year. Oh my gosh. I know, I know. Peacock feathers have nothing to do with that. I said, what in the world? Okay, she came to me. She said, Lynette, I want to be Cinderella for, for, I keep wanting to say Christmas. She could be Cinderella for Christmas. I want to be Cinderella for Halloween. I said, that sounds awesome. And, uh, and so, but then she comes to me with these peacock feathers and she said, can you find a way to incorporate peacock feathers into my costume? I said, that's ridiculous. Cinderella did not have peacock feathers anywhere. And she said, well, this Cinderella's going to. So I figured this out. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. She brought me this. I, it looks like there are quite a few in here. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Instead of putting them on the dress, because she wanted to put them on the dress, I said, with Cinderella, you can't really mess with the dress. you got to leave it alone. But what about this? What if we did, like, a headdress? Instead, of, I think she wore, like, a black a headband or, or something Cinderella did. We, instead of that, we'll do a headdress that has black on it like the headband, but then we will attach and kind of do it in the back. Find a way to incorporate peacock feathers into that. What do you think about that? And then maybe um, get some earrings that kind of match like they have these colors in them. I think it's a cool idea. I mean, you got to admit, when it's Cinderella, you, you can't do anything. The dress has to stay the way it is. Or I'm thinking if you change the dress, nobody's going to know who you are. That's my theory anyway. I don't believe anybody know who she was supposed to be. But the head, the head, if you just leave them up here, I think it will be better. So that's one thing I'm going to do for her. So that's what I'm saying. I might be able to come up with something kind of out of the box if your daughter's looking for a unique costume. I mean, if she doesn't want to look like every other little uh, princess or Ella or Elsa or Esmeralda. What's her name? Elsa. I should know that. Lord, I've been subjected to that movie like 57 times. I've just blocked it out mentally. If she wants to look like a unique 
uh, what's her face? I don't mean we could do this, but you know, maybe we could do we could do something special. Um, we could come up with maybe some jewelry that looks really nice. We could add some extra trim to the dress. Oh, we could make the train, like give her a long train in the back. Of course, with safety precautions, you don't want to make it too long. I don't want to get cold on stuff. Now, are y'all doing trick-or-treating? See, I don't know. That's the thing. I mean, everybody's been saying that it's not going to be allowed, but I don't see how you can stop it. I mean, if people want to go out and trick-or-treat, I don't see how they're going to stop it if everybody just decides to do it. I'm still not talking to you, Trish. Oh, now you want me to go get you some lunch? Why do you want me to go get you lunch exactly? Back-to-back -back customers. You got back-to-back -back clients. Maybe I do too. You ever thought about that? Well, no. But I could have. Oh. Okay, but can you pick this out? Can you fix this? It just highlights my roots, Trish. Especially in the back. I look like a skunk. It's like a reverse skunk. I can't have it. Why are we bargaining over this? Where where do you want lunch from? Out back. Do you have any idea how far that is from here? That's like 10 miles from here, Trish. That's the other side of town. It'd take my whole lunch hour. I'll have to call them, put in the order, and then drive all the way out there. You're awful. I don't like you anymore. Oh my god. I'm telling you something. For somebody who's so hard up for money, it seems like she gets her food. She gets takeout a lot. And sometimes I just want to say, like, you know, Trish, maybe if you'd quit getting, you know, steakhouse lunches and stuff, maybe you'd have more money. And in the midst of all this, she went and bought a new SUV. Did I tell you that? She did. It didn't have any money coming in. And then we find out they're going to charge us for all those months of rent. Sometimes I think she just creates her own problems. But far be it for me to bring that up. I just get yelled at. Because what do I know? Oh, oh, honey, I can't pay. No, honey, I brought a bologna sandwich. I'm not going to be getting food from anywhere. No, I'm not especially crazy about bologna. And yes, steak for lunch does sound good, but I can't afford it. And she just walks off. Okay, just walk off. I don't care. Let me check, see what you got. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here, let's move that. Do a top coat? Do you want to do a top coat? No, there's no extra charge here. I'll do it. I mean, I would want that anyway. That way they don't chip. And then we're going to put you back under that dryer. Turn your finger this way. See, at home, is the online school. I don't feel like my kids have learned anything so far this year. I think they're just getting dumber and dumber. You ever just wonder about that? I think my kids are getting I need them to go back to school. They're sitting in my house, eating up everything I own, leaving lights on everywhere. Don't even get me started on the amount of toilet paper that gets gone. I never realized how much toilet paper they used until they were home all day for six freaking months. Okay. Oops. Here. I messed up. Let me fix it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm doing Symphony's costume. Uh, Trish does not know about it. Um, I think Jimmy might even dress up this year. He said he wanted to be Earl from My Name is Earl. I said, Jimmy, nobody remembers that show. Nobody's going to know who that is except like old people like me. I mean, not you because you're nowhere near as old as me. But uh, I said, nobody's going to know. You're just going to look like a dude walking around in a flannel shirt. I mean... You know, your hair's always messed up anyway. All you gotta do is grow a mustache. And we'd have to dye it, because it has to be kind of dark. Nobody's gonna know who you are. But it would be a cheap costume, so I wouldn't have to buy anything. 
so I don't care. Maybe I could help uh, fix this hair. You know how it's kind of sticking out all the time. And we could take just a piece of yellow lawyer paper and write some good or write some bad deeds on it and cross some of them off. He could walk around with that list, you know, keep it in his pocket like Earl did in a pen. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. All right. Ooh. Do back like that. We'll put it right here. And you just put put them in there. Okay. Don't let them don't let them get together. Just keep them apart. There we go. Yeah. So um oh oh do you remember do you remember caboodles? Are you old enough to remember um, back in gosh I guess it was the early nineties when caboodles were popular? Look what my mother brought me the other day. It's, it's my old caboodle. She found this in the attic. I said, Mother, what in the world? I have not seen this thing in probably 25 years. Look at that hot pink handle. Yes, it's, it's just basically a fancy tackle box. That's all it is. It even has some old makeup in it. I threw it out. I mean, it's no good, obviously. But, you know, you know I was thinking... An item like this might do really well on eBay. Or if I found somebody local that might be interested in purchasing this fine item, I could save myself the listing fees and the shipping costs. What do you think? Could you, would you love to have a caboodle in your life? Um, well, I was thinking maybe $20. No? Oh, well, look at that fancy logo. Look how colorful it is. How could you not want that? Oh, no, I, I understand. It's, no, it's, I just thought I'd ask. You don't know anybody that might want one. It's really cool. It's a vintage item, just like me. No. Well, I mean, that's okay. I, I was just going to put it on eBay anyway. I mean, she brought it by here, so... I, I haven't taken it home yet. You know, I thought I would maybe show it to some people. No, that's totally fine. I, I, no pressure. I mean, there's never any pressure when I happen to come across a wonderful item that you might be able to use that I think would be wonderful. And it's very lightweight. It's not greasy at all. And it's a wonderful bargain for only $24. This is... Um, this is a neck firming cream that I've just become familiar with. It's all natural and organic. Now you can get this on Amazon, but on Amazon it's $24.58. If you buy it from me, it's only $24. That's a savings of 58 cents. <laughs> So I don't know if you would have any interest in this beautiful neck firming cream. You can also use it on your face. And it works very well to tighten the skin and hide fine lines and pores. And it's not greasy at all. Would you be interested in purchasing a little jar of this neck firming cream? Oh, you, you use all the way. Oh, they don't call it that. Olay. Use Olay. Oh, well. Okay. Well, if you're ever thinking about a change, I buy this by the case, and I always have some available if you're interested. What are you doing? <clears throat> Trish, don't do that. Don't. Now what am I going to eat for lunch? You just wasted food. Are you proud of yourself? You ought to be ashamed. She stuffed my bologna sandwich down in the drain and poured bleach on it. Was that bleach? Why would you do that? Have you lost your mind? Well, I still cannot get anything from Outback. Trish, I'm broke. I have like no money. I have zero dollars. I had to borrow money from Brittany to get gas to get here. Well, then I guess I'm just not eating anything then, am I? <clears throat> you 
you are upsetting my customer. Do you mind just not doing that? Okay, if you want to give me gas money and money to pay for your food, I'll go get it. But I have no money. I don't know why you think I have money. You knew about it, didn't you? You knew. You were trying to find a way to get me to say it. You know about my side business, my sewing business. Well, that's a fine way to tell somebody you know something. Well, now I got no lunch. No, no, you don't have to go get anything. No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe this will be my foray into intermittent fasting, whether I like it or not. I'll tell you what, this dress has done weird things to her. She has just turned into a hateful person. Trace, you have just got ugly. You just, you have just gotten so ugly with me. I can't believe you ruined my sandwich. Well, anyway. No, you don't have to do that. Oh, aren't you sweet? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? She's going to go get me something to eat. And you don't have to get her anything to eat. She's fine. Uh, no. Uh-uh. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll tell you what I will do. I will I will make this no charge. That way you, no no no, don't give me any money. Don't give me any money. If you're gonna bring me lunch, are are you serious? Now don't go far. I mean you could just run down here to Walmart and get me like one of those sandwiches in the in the deli or something. I mean that don't 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 do any more than that. Okay, don't don't go anywhere else because that's plenty. They have those little sandwiches, you could get the little half cut Sandwiches for like three dollars. Just one of those. I don't I don't need a drink or anything. No, I'm serious. That's fine. And and, and I'm not gonna charge you for this. Okay. You don't have to bring her anything. Well, I know you don't mind because you're so sweet. But I'm almost thinking her going through an intermittent fast might change her attitude a little bit. Well, we don't know for sure that they're going to charge us. Um, we're fighting that. And I'm hoping we win because I don't think we should have to pay that because we were not open. We, we could not even get in the building for months. We couldn't even get in here to get anything out. They wouldn't let us in the building at all. And I don't see how they could charge us rent when we couldn't even come in here. Really? You, you, you insist on getting her something? Well, hang on. Trish, she's going to run over to Walmart and get me a sandwich from the deli. She's not, she is not going to Outback. You are unbelievable. You are unbelievable. N no, you're not willing to go there either. Okay, what kind of sandwich do you want? Chicken salad? They got chicken salad sandwiches there, and that's fine for me too. Don't, you don't have to get anything else, okay? No, you don't want a Sprite. No, you don't. No, we got drinks back there. You don't need a Sprite. You sound like my kids. You know that? I've been listening to this at home every day for months for my kids. You do not need a Sprite. You're fine with water. Drink water. It's good for you. Builds character or something. I don't know. Okay. Won't well, here. Which, which one are you going to? Okay. There's a cashier in there. Her name's Trudy. You'll know her when you see her. She has a beehive hairdo. She's about 60. Did you, hear, did you read the paper last week? Well, her husband was mentioned in there. Now, her husband's name is Kevin. Kevin got run over by a combine harvester. And the rumor has it, you know, it was ruled an accident. But what I know, they don't know. But I kind of feel like the cops ought to know. The driver of that combine harvester was her secret lover. Yes, there was no accident. Because they didn't even ask, like, what was he even doing out in that field? I mean, it wasn't even his field. What was he doing out there? See, Kevin had been cheating on Trudy for years. Everybody in town knows. And well, Trudy finally got tired of it. She went and got her a fella. But apparently the 
fella she got is super jealous and possessive and he didn't like Kevin being in the picture and I don't think Trudy knew anything about it. But apparently her boyfriend worked it out to where he lured Kevin out into this field. Yeah. Oh, he spewed out the side. It was, I mean, I didn't see it, obviously, but that had to be gruesome. What a way to go. I have never heard of anything like that. I think the, the, the only story I, no, she's still working, but who knows for how long. I mean, once the details come out, and I'm not the only one that knows, I may have to leave an anonymous tip about it. Once it gets out, I don't believe she'll be there long. I believe they're going to haul her in for questioning. And her fella too. She's back at work like nothing happened. This this was last week. I can't believe you didn't hear about it. It made the news. Yeah, well not here. I mean, Mount Trace made the news, um, which is a big deal. But she just went back to work like no big deal. I mean, that's suspicious by itself. I mean, whose husband get run gets run over by a combine harvester and you just do 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 just go back to work? No big deal. He's dead. And he's fine. Lord, I don't know. The only story, I heard this story from Daddy. Now, apparently this really happened. A friend of his was uh, cutting this tree down on his property. It was rotten in the middle, and he was cutting it down. Cut through, and right in the middle of it was a skull. There was a skull in the middle of this dead tree. It was a big old tree. It was hollow down in it. There was a skull. Well, they figured out what happened. Inside this tree was a skeleton of a dog. Now, here's what they think happened. They think that at some point in the past, maybe not too long ago, but long enough ago, okay, it's not a super tall tree, but it's just big. I think the top had already fallen out of it, and it was rotten. This dog was able to get up in the tree far enough it chased something down into the tree, and it went down into that hole, and then it couldn't get out. And whatever he was chasing, whatever the dog was chasing, got out. I don't know if it was a squirrel or what, but the dog was able to get up into that hole somehow or another. But when it got in there, it couldn't get out, and it died inside of that tree. And then that's when they found a skeleton. I can't think of that, that right there, I think, would be worse than a combine harvester because can you imagine how long that poor dog was stuck in there? And, and I'm claustrophobic, so I can't stand the thought of not being able to move. Oh, it just freak. I have dreams about that being stuck, like, under a house and I can't get out. I just can't imagine being stuck in a tree and then dying in there. That's a true story, too. A friend of my daddy's cut a tree down, found a dog skeleton inside the tree. And they figured that had to be, that had to be what happened. Um, but yeah, it's just terrible. But if you see Trudy in there, tell her I said, hey. <laughs> oh, she knows me. I do her nails. Yeah. It's been an, it was an awkward conversation. Yeah, she came in here not long after he died getting her nails done. She kept her appointment. When I heard about it, I called her. I said, you want to cancel your appointment? And she said, oh, honey, no. I got plans tonight. I want to look good. So suspicious, like, how do you talk like that? And people, you know, people suspect that you're part of it. Your husband just got chopped up by your boyfriend. People are going to put two and two together. You can't just carry on like nothing happened. you got to at least act upset. But she just, well, she wasn't the brightest bulb in the pack. I mean, she probably doesn't know any better. But anyway, here. Let me see. And I'm going to give you a complimentary... No, I am too. I'm going to give you a complimentary jar. I want you to try this. And if you like it, you know where to get more. See, I'm like your drug dealer, but it's not illegal. This is better than drugs. This will, you know, not that you need it. You totally don't need it. But you want to think about the skin right here. Keeping it nice and firm. You should start that before it turns into a turkey waddle. I wish I had done that. But you just go on and take that. You are so sweet to offer to do that. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you came in. Trish, say thank you. Tell her thank you. Like you mean it. 
That's the fakest thank you I've heard since I had to get my kids to thank an adult for something. She appreciates it. She really does, and I totally do. Do you like, do you like that color? Yeah, it looks really nice. It even looks good with what you're wearing there. That's cute. Okay, well, I will be right here. I'm not going anywhere the rest of the day, so take your time. You know, if you got other things to do, you don't have to rush back. I really appreciate you doing that. You are a really good friend, and I appreciate it. Oh, it's good. We're going to be fine, honey. It'll be fine. It'll all work out. It always does. I mean, we've been through rougher times than this. So, I'd be thinking about that costume. So, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay? Great. Well, thank you for coming in, and I'll see you a little bit later.